our hundredth. Okay, so when we're trying to divide this, basically, ladies and gentlemen, this is saying 11, um, 3 divided by 11, all right? So when we want to be able to convert this over to decimal form, um, what I'm going to want to use is, again, going back into using our algorithm for long division, all right? And we will have a test exactly on converting from fraction to a decimal. So the basic thing was we look at, does 11 divide into 3? No. Unlike long division, though, what we did is we brought down the next, we looked at the next number, right? We looked at the next digit. However, 3 is an integer, right? There's no other digits with this, correct? It's not a multi-digit like we did before. So therefore, I have to create now a decimal point. And then now I can kind of bring in my zeros. Does 11 go into 30? Yes. And how many times does it go in? Twice. So I do 2 times 11, which is 22. Bring down the 8. Does 11 go into 8? No. So I just will, I'm sorry, should have showed my work. Subtract those two. Then, so I'll just bring down another decimal or another 0. And 11 goes into 80. Yes. How many times? 7. Seven. So if you guys will just do it to the 100th, hundredth, hundredth term, that'll be fine. All right, for the rest of those um, problems that you guys have over there. And there, therefore, We'll just, we'll just write in, in the, in the hundred, in, we'll write a fraction um, to a decimal to the hundredth place um, for that worksheet. And that's all you guys got to do. Any questions? No? Yes? So what do you mean by 